So I'm coming from Slovakia. My name is Lenka Soročnaga. I run the Atlantis Foundation there. And I'm also ha happy to reiterate we have been partner of the TechSoup for uh, half a year uh, with the result of donating the um, software of Microsoft uh, to 33 NGOs at the value of around 200,000 uh, euros. <coughs> I took my, the title of the presentation uh, very seriously, and as you see, I will really talk about you know, the crisis effect on NGOs as I'm coming from the organization, which is a foundation in Slovakia, and we are really dealing with everything concerning civil society, and civil society targeting all the different groups uh, in the country, and trying to really um, make whatever we do so that these organizations exist, they become sustainable, and they strive, and they have their, their capacity. Uh, we have been doing it um, over the course of a uh, number of years, uh, since the year uh, 1997, with providing uh, NGOs with grants, providing them with loans, uh, with number of technical assistance, but also since the year uh, 1998, also engaging others, not just international donors, but also engaging corporations who are based in Slovakia and last year we have started engaging the individual donors who are in Slovakia and this is a, a small project which I would like to present and it goes a little bit to what Dula was uh, uh, saying about targeting actually the entire country of Slovakia. What we have developed, this is our team, so what we have been thinking about was that there have been um, in the country um, huge obstacles to giving. And as you see from many research, everybody tells you that there is lack of fund and that's why people don't give, that nobody asks people to give, so that's why, what was the reason. Then they don't know whom to give. And this was very serious uh, factor what we have been doing. And then they are really not sure um, that the NGOs are accountable and they are really not sure where the money is going to end and if the money will be needed in the way and used in the way that the NGO says. So we, we have decided that we will use the modern technology and uh, we kind of were inspired by Facebook in a very big way and created this uh, website called a Great Country to essentially <coughs> allow to connect the NGOs and to connect the donors. And it's not anonymous as you will see and it's a very uh, interactive communication which supports transparency also utilizes the social networks, is very trustworthy because we have a board which makes the decision. But it has also a very strong idea. And the idea is that people who contribute and the people who are a part of this network are really trying to change the face of Slovakia, change the face of this country. It's really an online fundraising portal, as this is how it looked at the beginning now, we change it a little bit. But it works really uh, in a way that every giver has a profile and every NGO has a profile, and they directly communicate with each other, where you know we have uh, done the work of selecting the NGOs, and also the profile are done in a way that they are very clear, very impactful, <coughs> so that you really are seeing what you are contributing to, and also that the results are immediately communicated. And also what's very nice, it's there are two ways of saying thank you. You are getting a thank you for an NG from an NGO, kind of immediately, and then we as an administrator, as an umbrella, are sending different thank yous. So people feel truly, truly appreciated. Uh, the whole um, idea is that um, all the money is going to an NGO with your choice to give, uh, to provide to the administration of the website. This is, uh, well, you, you can actually choose um, uh, from, uh, based on different criteria. You have a basket, you can pick the basket of projects, uh, with the maximum required amount, minimal amount, you can also co-finance and then we created also the campaign, but you are essentially choosing based on the sector or based on where in the country you are trying to help. This is the board of the great country. There are famous people from Slovakia and very well recognized people. And people, uh, we always work with people who are not just famous, but who have very strong values and they are recognized in a society as people with very strong values. The criteria for selection of these NGOs was that there was a real potential of changing the country, but the budgets are up to 10,000 euros. So you might wonder, you know, how such a project can change the country, but we were looking for very specific examples like an association of which works with autistic parents, the parents of autistic kids, and providing them a chance to have a break over the weekend. 
with the blind association, which is actually touring uh, Slovakia and showing that Slovakia is a country where you actually can even a blind person go aside. There is a very popular project, is a project of refugees, which we didn't know, and we essentially also tested the sensitivity of the Slovak audience to that, the similar to the HIV testing on uh, women and many other projects. And because we have five areas, and it's the area of social, Solidarity, social area, solidarity, environmental area, cultural, educational, and the last, I forgot right now, but I think I have it written somewhere else. And But the ad idea of how we were selecting the NGOs was that the project is attractive to the donors, it has a really meaningful, realistic budget, and also that the NGO has an ability to utilize it as an umbrella, as a tool uh, to attract other donors. So essentially, uh, we have... Um, worked with a number of also cell phone companies so there and different banks you know so there are different ways how uh, you can actually give you can give through um, different ways through the banks different uh, ways of cell phone operators but what's very attractive is also that the, it's a tool for corporations companies to actually create the teams and be proud that you are supporting that NGO as a team of HP of Microsoft we have very good cooperation with Dell and some others. And this is essentially reiterating what the company is doing anyway. And we are also engaging people in volunteering for that very specific NGO. And it's all there in the Facebook. You can also, uh, in the kind of a Facebook model where you can also invite your friends to it. You can, so everybody kind of sees what are the NGOs you are standing behind, which NGOs you are supporting. And also you are proud that the company is doing the same thing. So it's pretty powerful. NGOs, uh, we have so far 50 NGOs and 50 projects in this, and NGOs like it because it's innovative, they're using modern tools, we are training them in fundraising, they're essentially exposing their own work, approaching new donors. So, um, we had uh, five times as many projects as we wanted, we have started with the campaign. In Slovak uh, context, this uh, campaign is this gingerbread, you know, we did it before the Christmas, it's very positive, and People really like that, and the campaign was uh, in a form of a teasing where we use mainly the internet as a as a campaign tool. Then we had a starting event, again very meaningful on November 17, you know, which is a day when essentially the Velvet Revolution started in our country, and where we started at the concert for people who care. Again, the audience, which is young people, we are going to do a major another campaign at the largest music festival in Slovakia with 30,000 uh, young people, where we will have great coffee and great um, <laughs> like great, great country coffee, great country stand and also the NGOs presenting themselves. So far these are just the results but we are waiting until, until the election to start with the new campaign but the idea is that you can actually really give just an euro and <coughs> we would like people to give, give you know on a like on a revolving basis so essentially um, created as a part of their uh, giving culture, so that's the idea behind it. Thank you.